Hello and welcome back to Ominous Bequest. So we've managed to find two of the items uh, from, that were mentioned explicitly in Lord Barrington's last Royal Testament. One was the Horn of Doloran, it was there, and the other was the painting of the dragon in the gallery here. Now, oh wait, that is that's a bedroom, isn't it? With this weird creaking noise. What the hell is going on then in there? And how do I get in there to find out? Um, hmm. Well, it's downstairs, it's just really noisy. There isn't like a secret passage in this wall, is there? You know what? Uh, this panel is a different color, isn't it? And, uh,. Seems suspicious to me, like there might actually be a passageway through the walls, just like there was on the other side of the house. So I'm gonna take a little bit more time to search for a switch in here that I might have missed. Could turn the lights on, of course, it might make it easier. It does look suspicious to me, does it? Does it look suspicious to you? There's even like a, a tiny bit of stone there. There's definitely, that definitely opens somehow. So if there's, oh, what's that? Oh, oh. Well, that's, there's a ladder there. The hatch coming down from the attic sort of area. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't see that before, but I guess it's not so obvious uh, in the dark. There's a dark patch there. Actually, it's pretty obvious if I looked, but I didn't look. All right. So that's one, there is an attic access here, which I might be able to get to from the attic. And uh, there's, a, there's another passage here. So, could be a switch, right? Unless the switch is in the attic, which is just possible. I don't think I can get there from here. I certainly can't pick that lock, right? <laughs> no, it's too far away. I'm not gonna get close enough to it. Switches, where are you hiding? Hmm. Not in the bathroom, I don't imagine. Do a thing like that. Hide the switch in the toilet. That would certainly stop random people from uh, pressing the switch by accident, right? Alright, uh, interesting. So there is going to be some way of getting into this bedroom. But I don't know what yet. We could go check out the dining room. Waiter that we saw from the kitchen. I shouldn't need to do anything with. And some bottles that are valuable. Oh, we'll turn the lights out. Oh, no. Off, off. Okay, not all the lights turn up that way. That's definitely downstairs. Much better. Much better. Oh, look at those banners. Lovely banners to, to slash also some loot. There's a guard out here, I believe. Yes. Oh, they're asleep. And they spilt more all over the floor. How careless. Also, they've left the money. For me to take, also careless. Just what's that book say? The Eye of Argon by Jim Thice. 
Alright, that's the power hole. Leads back to the best room now. What? Sleep. So I just like step on a creaky board or something. Nathaniel Farrington. There must be a loose must be a loose board here or something like that. It's a nasty trick to play on my feet. Brighter than I like here. Oh, -ho. that's opened the door somewhere. Oh, it's a trap door right in the center of the floor. Interesting. I'm gonna have to come back for that, I think. Also loot here in the marble floor. I'll I'll come back for that. Let's just do these ones as well. Now let's go back to the library. I have a secret passage in the attic. Actually, let's open this one. There's nothing else that gives me a way to escape these guards if I happen to get chased. Alright. <sighs> well, maybe if it doesn't cross the entire house. It's a chest. Some windows to the outside. An enormous pile of crates. It's always suspicious, right? It's gotta be hiding something. Yes, indeed. I mean, pile of uh, letters. Not as I was hoping a passage across the house, but uh, what does this say? Diary entries, part five. Entry 172. Jula Alarius has not been as cooperative as expected. During dinner, I casually asked him if he knew anything about the ruby called Blood Tear. He feigned ignorance. I offered him a generous price for the gemstone, but still he denied any knowledge. When I broached the subject again, he became rather annoyed and stood up to go to his room, telling me he was tired. There must be something about this stone that makes its owner want to keep it at all cost. Alarius will have plenty of time now to consider if it is really worth not to part with it. Entry 175 Astounding what wonders a few days of imprisonment can do to a man's memory. Alarius was almost eager to tell me the exact location of the ruby, a hidden compartment in the storage room of his jewellery store. Blood Tear is indeed as marvellous as the books describe it. I'm sure Alarius doesn't mind me keeping the stone. He has no wife or children to hand it down to anyway. Entry 186. Thanks to De Perrin's manifold connections, I finally managed to acquire the legendary Ice Heart, a 260 carat blue topaz. It is amazing how the stone's cut is identical to those of Sunspark and Blood Tear. The book called them Sister Gems, now I see why. The implication that they might originate from precursor times makes their flawlessness even more amazing. It is almost as if they weren't cut, but always existed in this form. Entry 190. Last night I dreamt of a thief entering the manor and stealing my stones. I must hide them. I must hide everything. Ice heart shall be buried in snow. Sunspark shall be greased by the sun each morning in the northeast tower. And blood tear needs a shady place in the attic. Nobody must find them. Nobody. Nobody must find them. That's why I must write down the exact location of all of them in this diary and then and then bury it in a shadowy place in the attic. Uh, so actually, oh, bollocks. Oh well, it's not that there's anyone here to see me, but uh, it's never likely that you can light them with a prop that you can't then put them out again. Seems a bit, uh, a little unkind by the uh, PC designers. Maybe it's another site. Then again, it would be a bit too easy if you could just uh, prompt them to open them. That would be a bit too easy entirely. Oh well, uh, problem. This didn't give me any way to get to the attic on the other side, which is what I was hoping to do. On the one hand, 
uh, it told me where the uh, <clears throat> where the gems are. One of them's in the northeast tower here. It's one of the gyms up there, and there's also there's a note page. I don't have a note page. Uh, whatever. One buried in snow, right? Gem in. It's got to be in the in the cold room, in the cellar. And I can't spell room. Room. There we are. Okay. Luna, she was a good girl. She is with the builder now. One of those old prize fighting barracks that uh, lost a fight, I guess. Or maybe just died of old age. Okay, so we have. Uh, what's the dining room? I've been there. So the only thing left of. Of interest here is this passage, which I can't find this any way to open, which bothers me. And uh, this, which I also can't find any way to open. Can't stand on the web there, can I? Well, sort of, but not really. Uh, hmm. I did try <laughs> just leaning forward here, right? I can't. Can't lean forward and get to it, can I? No. For some reason I can't lean forward at all. That's save. Oops. Ah, I can't lean forward because I wasn't, I wasn't properly standing on here. Was I? Yeah, it's a weird, uh, I'm not quite standing. That's why I'm also not making any footsteps. Okay, now I can lean forward. I know it's still insufficient. Alright. No. No. It's not gonna work. Alright, I'm gonna have to go back downstairs and continue my researches there. I have made a note that uh, there's something here. But not exactly what. I'm sure one of the gems is up there in the attic. Sure, there's something else of significance in here, in the creepy room. And there's this room I haven't been able to get into either that needs a key. Well, as a marked, I don't know what's in there. So I need to get into a bunch of places here. There's also some buttons here. Don't know what they're for. But, that'll do. Don't look, I wrote a naughty word. Ah, oh, that's creeping me out. Back to the stairs. Now, only one of these apparently goes inside. Let's check these stairs. I haven't been down them before, but I think, according to the map, they don't actually connect to the ground floor passages, which is very odd. And if that is indeed the case, then it's kind of useless to me. Oh, well, except for the coin somebody lost under there. Right, I'm not going out the back door. Ah, that was the... Okay, the door up this other stairs I couldn't open. It was not going anywhere special, just outside. Okay. I thought that three-circle symbol was like, uh... Ooh, some secret society logo or something that, uh, Lord Farrington was into, but nope, it's just... Probably just his kind of symbol. Because that's just the back door. This is just the back door. How boring. Useful to know, but still very boring. What do I got here? That's the cellar. Oh, that's right. Ah, you're alright. I don't need to bother you. That's right. Somebody comes in here, don't they? Servant. And pokes at things on the table. Coming now. Let's go to. I have no more arrows, so uh, maybe 
maybe this is not the best way to go. Mm, on the other hand, there's marble floors everywhere. You know what? I'm going to knock this all out just because. Uh, <coughs> well, I'll take a seat in question too. Don't fall in the fire. Knock them out simply because uh, if I do get into trouble, I need to run around to escape trouble. I don't want to have more guards adding to the pile. We can sleep in this <coughs> nice dark room. A weapon store. servants here so we can follow them I guess at least they won't then walk in on me by Who's surprise that? please don't play games um oh, this whole this whole thing is a game uh, should I should I not play thief you will stop existing mm -hmm. hello oh, we got the trolls mm, nothing I guess I'm expecting we got the patrol. I suppose that means they go indoors, which is maybe maybe good for me. Okay, that needs a key. Look at these purple lights here. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go up and tell them. No more guard duty. Plus six tapping wheels are gonna be on guard duty. I'm gonna put my finger up and say, uh, I had enough. That's it. That's what I'm gonna do. That's a good plan. You could do that. Do that. Why don't you do that now? I guess there's a guard upstairs now. Alright. That's the servant again. And here's this fellow that wants to meet my frying pan, I'm sure. Do I think I can get him here? You <laughs> can. Can I then get them to safety? By safety, I mean the same dark storage room before the servant comes back, and I think I've managed it. I do wonder if the guard upstairs heard my footsteps on the tile. I hope not. <coughs> Alright, you don't have anything to pickpocket, do you? No. I'm trying to leave the servants alone. Uh, guards are fair game to knock on the head, but servants, they don't need to. I'll knock him on the head if he starts running and screaming, but until mm -hmm. then. No, I don't think it's true at all what they said. I never was true. And I just believed them like a taffy. Yeah. Oh, this is the guard quarters, okay. There's somebody nearby. No one in the toilets. They have their own indoor toilet. That's uh, pretty swanky for, for guards. Entry one. So this is my first entry in here. Now what to write? I know people. I know some people start every para, pro, gra, pa, whatever, with dear diary. But me thinks that's stupid. Jorick told me keeping a diary was a good idea. It should keep me from drinking when I'm bored. He said. That reminds me. Where did I put that last bottle of wine again? Entry two. Looks like this new job's gonna be fun. Sort of. Joseph Buxley, the captain of the guard, took the time to show me around on my first day, and during today's lunch he introduced me to the guard staff. It's quite a large crew. I think they like me already. People tapped me on the shoulder when Buxley told them that I was caught being drunk on duty on my last job. Oh well, I'll try not to drink too much this time. Entry 8. It's been a week since I started guard duty here. Looks like I've finally found a job that lasts longer than just a few days. Every morning, the, cap give, the captain gives patrol routes for everybody to port to port keep the manor safe against thieves. To 
Today I had to guard a banner. That was strange. Entry 9. Boring, 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 boring. I'm still bored. I wonder if the Lord keeps some good bottles of wine in his cellar. Entry 22. I can't get into that stupid uniform. My colleagues are tapping at me, but I swear it's not my waistline causing me trouble. It's the damn laundry. They probably kept my uniform in the water for too long, and now it's shrunk in two sizes at least. I have to keep the buckle of my belt open, otherwise I'm unable to breathe. Entry 23. I don't like walking past that barred door. It gives me the shivers. On my last patrol, I thought I heard some strange noises coming from it. But the room behind it has been empty for years. Something to do with the Lord's mother, the others told me. Entry 30. When I woke up today morning, the house was shaking. And no, it wasn't because I've been drinking too much the night before. I haven't touched a drink for a long time. But anyway, it was an earthquake strong enough to make the swords fall out of their racks. Something to do with the crypts below the manor, Buxley told me. Entry 31. Sad news, Lord Farrington died yesterday. He suffered from a ha sudden heart attack while he was having some business in the city, Kevill told me. They brought the coffin with the body this morning and put it into the family crypt. I'm glad somebody else has to do the death watch. Those old corridors are spooky. Guard duty goes on as usual. Farrington's two sons will arrive here tomorrow. Entry 35. Today I caught Tubbs staring at my locker. That stupid tapper has some nerve. I told him to get away from my prop proper my stuff and mind his own business. Since yesterday, several bottles of fine wine are missing from the cellar, and just because they know about my little drinking problem, they think I did it. Good thing the captain came to my defense. He told the others that I had been patrolling outside the manor at the time the bottles had been stolen. That was really nice of him. Maybe I'll catch him later for a beer. Well, better not. Entry 37. Things don't look that good. Lord Barrington's sons want to reduce the personnel and cut down the salary as well. A couple of guards went on strike after this, and some of them already quit their job. I have to keep an eye on my locker. With half of the crew protesting outside, this could be an ideal chance for a thief to break in. But this time I'm prepared, and I'll show the sneaking crook how I deal with the likes of him. Nobody steals anything from Benny and gets away with it. Well, Benny. Nobody. Mm. Hey! Except me. I don't... What? Hey? Eh? What do you th what do you want, huh, Benny? How about this? How about this? <coughs> Alright, kind of a waste of a flash bomb, but uh, he did he did actually manage to see me, which I was uh, hoping he wouldn't. Fair enough. So he's keeping an eye on his locker. I wonder which one is Benny's. It's not even locked. Oh god. Pink donut, chocolate donut, another chocolate donut, caramel donut, another pink donut, another caramel, two more caramel, and one more chocolate. Oh, and he's got some money. Hmm. Well, Benny, nobody steals your donuts and gets away with it except me. Oh, oh, oh alright, I'll come back to that in a second. Secret switch there. Bread, healing potions, this is good if I, uh, and my usual in-app self, playing cards, don't do that. Oh, a replacement flash bomb, how nice. My usual in-app self and get uh, sliced to bits. Oh, another switch. And I can't finish the sentence. Uh, if my sentences get sliced to bits, no, if I get sliced to bits, I have lots of healing now to help. Oh, that's just a light switch, how, how sad. Does this one have a switch? No, the one that would have been useful to make Benny shut up. Well, maybe if I was quicker, I could have. Ah, never mind. Uh, what's this one do, though? This one is. This one's more interesting. Oh. Oh, ho, ho. What have we got here? Some more diary entries, part four. Entry 157. The building of the church is coming along well, and the nightmares have indeed passed. I am trying to forget what has happened, but there are times I feel a strange urge to continue my explorations. I won't ever put a foot into these cursed crypts again. I gave the Hammerite Order allowance to rebuild them for their own needs. The sooner the builder hallows this godless place, the better. Entry 166. The builder be praised, we have a son. 
It is very hard to put my joy into words. I have been worried about Elizabeth because of her recent nightmares, but Robert was born without any complications. Shortly afterwards, my wife told me that she had felt a pair of eyes observing the entire birth with much interest. I'm sure it was the blessing gaze of the builder. A clear sign that Robert, Robert will lead a happy and successful life. Yes, what else could it be, huh? Mm. So that would have happened in the mysterious room. Where does this take me? locked up here and uh, not much left of them. How exciting. We could have way down there. And here in guards. Odd. Another way down there. And another place to uh, lock up. I see. I can hear through this crack in the wall, I guess. Hmm. It's funny, I'm surprised that uh, you lock people up near that, because they would surely then people would hear them moaning and screaming and hollering. Right, well, let's try this ladder, shall we? Carefully. I mean, it is true that guards are more likely to die to ladders and guards, but, uh... That's another passage, no doubt. Where did that go? Crypts? I don't know, there's no ladder there, so if I fall down there, I'm not actually coming back up that way, so... Let's leave that for now. Where does this take me? Oh. Captain's quarters. Yeah, there's a big hollow here on the map. It must be. Okay. He sounded like a guard as well. Red arrow. When he comes back, I will. Uh... Oh, Fry his brains. Oh, he's got a key. He's got his own safe. He's got another key. Captain's quarters. Okay. Good, good. Actually, let's just leave him on his bed. Yeah, we don't necessarily want him to know about the secret passages. Let's just switch on this side. It must be, but it might be behind the door. Hmm. Let's open his safe. I believe we've got all that food and I haven't taken any damage yet this mission. That's uh, unfortunate. Usually it's the other way around. I have all this damage that I've lost and no food to heal it. Money? Wine? Wait, was, was he stealing all the good wine, not Benny? What's his letter? Dear brother, everything is going as planned. When they noticed the absence of several expensive bottles of wine, everybody accused Benny of stealing them. I even had to defend him, otherwise they'd have thrown him out by now. There are still two more 38s and a particularly valuable 41 I need to get out. Then I'll put one of the cheaper bottles into Benny's locker and blow the whistle on him. He'll end up in one of Crag's Cleft's fine cells while we'll have a drink to our easily earned wealth. I'll see you next Sunday in the Crippled Barrack Inn. Joseph. New objectives. Uh, optional. Find a way to let Benny know what the captain's after. Interesting. Do I leave the captain's letter by Benny's journal? I guess, maybe. Switch the lights off. Nelson. From Mr. Prosser's report, I gather that the air shafts from the family crypt indirectly connect the sewers. This represents a vital security hole since a thief could enter or leave the Farrington compound through the public sewage system. See to it that the switch controlling the ventilation hatch is relocated to a lockable room nearby. Captain Boxley. 
All right, I guess that's gonna be my way out of here is uh, through the sewers. Oh, where's that safe key? Safe key. Yeah. I don't need the safe key anymore, so let's just leave it there. He'll imagine he left it on his desk. Captain's quarters key. All right. I'm not gonna need that again either. I can just leave it, leave it locked. Okay. Find a way to let Benny know, huh? I might come back in that way through the garden and see if there's a way to open that door from that side. This is possibly a way to the crypts. It's the only thing I know that's below here. Although, I guess the cellar is below. Maybe that goes to the cellar, like where I've already been? Don't know, I can't really tell. I might go back to the cellar and have a look if it's up. At the ceiling, which I, you know, should have done before, but probably never did. So where are we here? North. Uh, I guess that's the near the kitchen. All right, where does this take me? This is the southern side of the same passage. I'm guessing this passage runs along here. No, what? This passage must run here, so it comes out this room. Behind that room? The problem is I don't think I can get back up again. Uh, so I'm kind of reticent to drop down. It must be this room. I will come back to that later. I don't like dropping down to places I don't know where they are. Hello? Oh, well, um, hmm. Captain's letter. Captain's letter. How about we leave it in, his, in Benny's locker? Yes. Alright, Benny. Rather than leave you in the bathroom, which is a little ignominious, now you're gonna have your revenge on the captain. Everyone else is gonna think you just fell asleep guarding your locker. Perfect. Alright, so uh, Benny will find out that the captain was uh, is trying to set him up. <coughs> oh, yep. Yeah. We're literally seeing, seeing things, seeing me. Uh, I'm on the wrong side of the garden. How do I get to that balcony you're on? That's uh, interesting. I don't know, because this is observatory where I have not been. Moss arrows, though. They might be useful. Only two. What's this? Sea sponge, do not touch. Why not? Breath potion. Gardener's note. Although sponges are still considered plants by scholars, I have evidence that at least this specimen is closer to an animal and still very alive. After being kept dry for several weeks, it reacts quite intensely to any water contact. Provided with enough liquid, it can soak up several pints in a matter of seconds. Apparently, its reactions vary on the quality of water as well. When I put it into a bucket with soap water, it almost completely repelled the liquid. I wish I had some holy water, I'd love to see the sponge's reaction. I have to go back to the seashore one day and search for more specimens. I think I will touch it. I will take it and I will do some more science. With holy water and sea sponges. It's a very good kind of science. Where are we now? Greenhouse. So that goes outdoors. So I don't think I need... I don't even have a key. I don't need to go that way anyway. What was that noise? Oh, nothing. Uh, right, so he's going back to the entrance hall and the servants' bedrooms. That's alright, I can go that way. Wait, 
need to come back out. Oh, I shouldn't need to wait. Who's there? Who, what was that? Yeah, I should have waited. That's right, just carry on. Was nothing. Oops. Still in my frying pan. Money. Nothing. Nothing. So the servant coming back, is it? Oh, this one is going back and forth to the kitchen. What's this note? To do. Send a, send a John to fetch some cheese from Wensley Dales. One of the Farrington brothers complained about the old-fashioned privies and suggested finding out who installed those modern toilets over at Lord Ashton's Manor. The cold storage key is still missing. Louise told me she put it in the dumbwaiter with the dishes when she was in the dinner room, but back in the kitchen the key had vanished. I wouldn't be surprised if some rodents managed to drag it away. And if that weren't enough, the pole to open the attic doors has disappeared as well. Aha! Pole to open the attic doors and the key to the cold storage in the dumbwaiter. Two things I need. Should I make a run for it? Or is he just about to come in here and surprise me? No, he's just a civilian. And he's not anywhere near. That cub is lots of noisy. Where does this door lead? A uh, small room. Okay. Let's examine it. Storage. Loot. And apparently nothing else. All right. Good storage for unconscious bodies. Oh, somebody's coming. Did I, did I not close the door to the servant's room? Oh, that was silly of me. I should go back and do that. How many water arrows have I got? 13. Ah, I can waste a couple. Sure. Hello? 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 Now there is a... Oops. There's a guard going back to him from the kitchen. Sorry, the servant. Going to him from the kitchen. Alright, now we do have a trap door there. Investigate. Oh, these are, I thought these were decorative. Well, it's good to find out that they're not. But, uh, ooh. Okay, that's just, just storage, not a passage. Cool, that works. We'll take the loot happily. And this loot. See what we've got in here. I think this is just a room I can access from that uh, upper secret passage. Uh, this is the office. Okay. Lord Farringdon's office. House key. Right. So that'll let me access all the external doors. Uh, no, the. Secret passage doesn't appear to come this way at all. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe it comes to the kitchen. You heard nothing. Don't make me, uh, okay. It's a cold storage key, all right. 
poured from the dumbwaiter and did. Now, where would anyone keep the pole for the attics? I don't know, but I think I should uh, take a ride here on the dumbwaiter, shouldn't I? Just for fun. There's probably nothing, uh, nothing to see. Did not. Back down we go. Alright, I need to have the cold storage. Oh, I see, that's the cracked wall. Okay. That's where I came in, that's a furnace. Wine cellar. Here, yeah, cold storage. Money. Fish. And buried in snow. Ah, hmm. Buried in snow is a problem, that's one of the gems. There was, there was, was it, was a shovel, right? Not here, but in the shed by, out, just out here. So I can't get out that way again. The guard will be just watching it. Oh, there's a shovel here. Maybe, maybe I can use that. Okay, that's clearly got one of the gems we need inside it. Where's that furnace? How better to melt a ball of ice than by putting it into a furnace? Where are we? Ball of ice. We have ice hearts. That was a little more explosive than I expected, but um, that's one of the three sister gems. Brilliant. It's probably worth a hard save. So we've got ice heart. We still need blood tear and sun spark. Uh, sun spark was the one in the tower. Blood tear is in the attic. And the tower's not a life. That's got to be somewhere in the crypts or the underground church or something, surely. Alright, what now? Mm. There's some notes in my lips talking about other things. Someone got said about something. Uh, sponges and water. There's a sword and holy water. Jeffrey's note. Uh, searching, searching. Death statue, trap door, plaque at the statue. All right, don't know what that is. Glass windows and elevator shafts. Yeah, I did find a big elevator down in the barrack stables, but it had a door, a grate it couldn't open, so I don't know where it goes. Who's? What did you see? Uh, look, will diary entries. Okay. So, huh? Maybe. Something uh. weird is going on here. Help! Help! He's after me. 
people see? Where Where they find... I see him! Help! Over here! No. What did the other guy get so upset about? And the guard as well. That's bizarre. Well, you can all sleep in here. It's nice and warm. You'll be safe enough. That servant saw something. He didn't like the look of. What? This isn't right. Oh. I I'm hearing them up here. Yes. All right. <coughs> you can sleep in here. Somebody's patrolling up there now. That would explain why he got upset. He would have seen the banners I knocked down. Uh, it doesn't explain the servant that I heard yelling. Hmm. We go here. Cloak room. Uh, go on to another secret passage. Just no. Diary entries part one. Entry 65. Amazing! I just received a report from one of the men working on the sewer extension underneath the manor. Apparently there is an entire crypt, probably reaching back several centuries, right under our feet. I knew there was something mysterious about this house, but if I hadn't agreed to Elizabeth's suggestion to move into her father's manor and live here, who knows who would have made this sensational discovery. Entry 68. Yesterday I checked the municipal archives to see if there was any information about ancient crypts southwest of the city and could not find the slightest hint. It must be true then, these corridors haven't been visited since the day they were sealed off. Dear Elizabeth suggested reporting this remarkable find to the historical museum, but somehow I find the idea of doing some exploration on my own very intriguing. A feeling of euphoria and restlessness prevents me from getting any sleep. I can literally feel the lost relics calling me waiting down there just to be found and the unspeakable horrors too no doubt but you know right. back the guard. oh that must be the guard from wait this guard on the balcony up there hmm don't see me. No, oh, no, no, there's nothing there. Wait, uh, am I on the, on the eastern side now? Should we get back to the captain's quarters? That's all right. Not again. I guess it's nothing now. I did want to see if I could find a switch here. Hmm. He has an exceedingly well hidden switch. Or there isn't one on this side, which is even more interesting. Alright, good to know for later. Not really important. <clears throat> so, where do I want to go now? Well, this is a big question mark room. So many center doors. Delightful, we have a lost city, ruins, saving the history, secrets and keepers, the 
full. Doomed. Robert Farrington and his prize barracks. He's just he's leaning against one, that's nice. And uh, the city. We go here. Helpless seedling grows that just broke to the surface and light the way for the one who has left this world. That's the statue of death. Water to help the seedling grow. And the fire to light the way. Hmm. Okay. Diary entries 2. Entry 74. Although it is not the cursor, this tomb is certainly very old. Some sections are in bad shape, probably due to earthquakes. Many ceilings collapsed long ago, and from time to time I can hear grinding noises coming from behind walls during my explorations. I'd better tread carefully lest I get myself trapped in a cave-in. Entry 78. The crypts are unusually empty, although they haven't been touched by any grave robbers. Most coffins lack any customary grave trinkets, and some of them aren't even occupied. I found a few artifacts, amongst them a couple of masks, which curiously are a precursor, and several old books from a so-called Order of the Dawn. Could this be a major's tomb? I know there is something very valuable down there, I just have to find it. Builder, forgive my sins! I beseech thee, lead my misguided soul back to the righteous path of the hammer. The rest of the page is filled with incoherent scribble. Hmm, something happened. Between entry two. And here we have the lifts. I guess these go down to the thoric pits. I'm not quite ready to go there just yet. But, uh, to barracks. No, can I not type a B? Why doesn't it let me type a capital B? Odd. To barracks. I have a, have a meeting with the guards quarters. Yes, I, Benny was there. I've been all the way around here. What I want to do now is go back up to the passage um, that runs along here find out where that middle area that drops down goes to, because I didn't explore that. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to have to remember where the passage started, which I've kind of forgotten. Oh, was the guard's quarters here, was it? Maybe? Yeah, this is it. Wait, wait, wait. If it starts at the guards' quarters, then it runs south of the captain's? Oh. No, then it runs south, then it turns east. Oh, wait, so it comes here and then comes across this way? This must be above the greenhouse now. I guess I'll find out where this goes. Oh. Oh, I didn't look up when I was in here. This is the secret passage I was just in. Um, from this this hallway. The cloakroom. It's not a switch on this side. Am I stuck here? That would be bad. <clears throat> that would be quite bad indeed. Come on, switch. How about climbing? Oh, there's a, there's a rope, a wooden rope, okay. I'm not stuck. Good. How many repairs are there? Oh, I've got seven. I might just leave that there, you know? Oh, no, never mind, I don't need it. Right, so that one goes there. That's the dumb way to shaft. And this comes out in the guards' quarters, although, I don't know where that goes yet. It's captain's quarters, so I'll leave that open, since you can't open it from the other side. And I'm gonna see what's down here now. Oh! I 
haven't looked up here either, did I? You know, it's, it's been... It should have been obvious that there was a passage there, but that uh, doorway, sorry, what do we call it? Sliding thing is not flush with the ceiling. Anyway, all right, so that's just a way to the, to the cellars here. So is there anything left in the cellars? I got the gem from the cold room. Uh, that's not the crypt. That was just a way to the cellar. Uh, I can go down to the barracks place. I haven't got the key to this room. I haven't got the key to the safe from the library. I haven't used those buttons. I haven't found my way into the weird viney room. And I need a pole. Need pole for attic. Who has the pole? Why would there be a pole that I can't find? This room that needs a key. Oh wait. Possibly the uh, one I've got now, the house key does it. That's where the guard upstairs was. He's watching the whole garden. I go back upstairs. I'll just leave this door open, why not? Side. Yeah, all right. Well, let's just put out this safety sink. Ah, no, that doesn't work. Uh, house key. Do I have any other keys? Cold storage key is also not going to work. All right, well, I can't. What a waste of a water arrow. I can't get him. Okay, so apart from the places I can't get into yet, I think that's everything from this floor, which means I do need to go back to the lifts to find my way to the barrack pits. Third time this shift. I gotta calm down. I wonder if there's any water arrows in my fountain. What's that? Nothing. It's never really anything. Never anything at all. Uh, yeah. uh, oh wait. Help the seedling grow that just broke to the surface. And light the way for the one who has left this world. Who, who wrote about that? That was in the uh, <clears throat> in the diary here, right? Do I have it still? Uh, lots of things, lots of things. Not that one. That's the only the normally find the resting hmm, eight switches. Gardener's note. No, that's not the sponge. Jeffrey's note. Maybe it has something to do with the glass windows and the elevator shafts. Okay. Right. So let's have a look in the elevator shafts. But first, I'm going to end the episode here. And uh, so I'll see you for the next episode. Thanks for watching.